Okay, so in this episode, we're gonna talk about how to import a video to the website. And if you take a look at the website we have so far, you can actually see it right now, we did actually finish the header. So the next part we need to create is the section, which is the part that goes in between the header and the footer at the bottom of the page. So it's important to note that everything we put inside the section is the part that changes on every single page. So my thought was for the front page, we might as well try and include a video at the very top of the page. So we can kind of see how we do that. So when we talk about including videos, there's two different ways you can do it. Either you can link to a video, for example, on YouTube or Vimeo, or you can include it inside the root folder. Now, you might be thinking, well, this is kind of the same as when we included the fonts into the website. And yeah, it kind of is. It's, it's a bit the same, but a little bit different. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about how to include it with a URL or like a link. So inside our index.html page, we're gonna go down to the bottom where we have the section. And inside this section, we're gonna include a container, meaning we're gonna create a div box. Now this is a container that's just gonna keep the video inside the section. So we're gonna go ahead and give this one a name called class equal to quotation marks. And we're gonna set it to video dash box. So what, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go into our style sheet. And at the very bottom of our style sheet, we're gonna go ahead and start styling this div box we just created. So if I were to give this one a class called video dash box, open up the code, and then go ahead and style it by giving it a width as a 100%. So we have it going all the way from left to right. We're gonna give it a background color as hashtag 222, which is a very dark gray color. And then we're gonna go ahead and keep this for now. And you might ask, why are we not including a height to our box? Well, if you want a box to be flexible and adjust the height according to what kind of content is inside the box, then you're just gonna leave out the height. But that also means that right now, if I were to save this and go refresh my browser, we can't actually see it. We don't see any dark gray background color of inside a box here. And that's because we don't have any content inside our, our div box yet, meaning that it's not gonna have a height yet. So going back to our index.html, inside our video box, we also want the video to be able to center itself on the screen. So we need to include a wrapper. So we're gonna say, we're gonna create a div, and this div is gonna be called a class named wrapper, which we did already create in one of the earlier episodes. So now, in order to include the video, we just need to put it inside the wrapper tags. So like I said, there's two ways you can include a video. And the first example, we're gonna to go to YouTube and try to include a YouTube video into the website. Now, using this way, you're gonna include something called an iframe, which is essentially when you take a section of another website and include it inside your own website. Now, so if you go ahead and go into this YouTube video, and this is just the last video from, from this series, and go down to the info section below the video, you'll notice that we have a share button. If I click this one, we get three more options. We have share, embed, and email. I'm gonna click on embed. And then you can see we get this long link, or like an iframe link, that we can put inside our website. Now, I'm not just gonna take this iframe link because I would like to have a little bit more customization over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click show more. And then you'll see we can suddenly customize the size. So my wrapper inside our website is 960 pixels. And you'll notice that when I write 960 pixels, it automatically adjusts the height. So it says, okay, if this is the width, then it needs to have this height, which is nice because you want to have the same ratio of height and width when you include videos. So now that I have this, we can also choose to tick off some of these buttons down here. I'm just gonna choose not to, we're just gonna keep this for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and include the entire iframe. So I'm gonna copy it, go into my index.html, include it inside the wrapper, save it, and then we can go ahead and refresh our browser. So now you'll notice we do actually have a video in here, but there's a couple of things I want to change. Right now, because we included a iframe, you'll notice that we do actually have a couple of pixels down here at the bottom, if I go ahead and zoom in for you guys. At the bottom here, we do have a couple of pixels of background. It's kind of like the, the height of the div box, you have it inside up, it's a little bit taller than the video itself meaning that we might have to go into our style sheet and go down and give it a height. 
So we're going to go ahead and say height and set it to 540 pixels because that's the height of our video. I'm going to go ahead and save it, refresh, and you'll notice that the line disappears. So now that we have this, you'll notice that we also have quite little space going from our container here to the header. So I'm going to go ahead and include a little bit more height to the header. So inside our style sheet, I'm going to go to the header and say instead of 140 pixels, I'm going to say 160 pixels high. Refresh, and there we go. Looks much better. So this is essentially how you include a, what do you call an iframe, which is linking to a video. If I want to include something inside my root folder, we need to create something called a HTML5 video. Now, if we go into this uh, index file and delete the iframe, so we can actually get started on the video, um, I want to talk about using HTML5 videos because when it comes to using video players inside your website, not all devices support all video players. Now, when it comes to HTML5 videos, I think all devices do support HTML5 videos, but there are some other video players out there which are not supported by all devices. You'll notice that a lot of Apple devices don't support a lot of video players, but HTML5 is one of those uh, players that it does support, meaning that an HTML5 player is actually a really good player to use inside your website. So the way we create a HTML5 player is first of all, as you guys will notice, I did actually go into my root folder. I created a video folder. Inside the video folder, I inserted a video called myvideo.mp4, which is the last episode, the same video we just went to on YouTube. And what you need to pay attention to is that it's called .mp4 because that's gonna be relevant for later. So now we go inside our section and we start creating the video tag. So we're gonna open up the code. We're gonna write video space then we're going to say width equal to quotation marks and the width is going to be 960 pixels well we do not need to include the pixel part so just leave that out space we're going to set the height equal to quotation marks to 540 pixels afterwards we can then choose if we want to include the controls to the uh, to the video and if we want to autoplay the video if you want to include the controls you just write controls inside here. If you also want to autoplay, you just say space and write auto play. Now we're not going to autoplay the video because that's just a little bit annoying for this example. Uh, so we're just going to keep it at controls. Then I'm going to close it and then close the video tag underneath here. Like so. And then we can actually start including the path to the videos inside these tags. So inside here, we're going to open up the code. We're going to write source space src for source again equal to quotation marks and then we need to write the path to our video so like i said we included a over like we created a video folder and inside this folder we have a video called my video dot mp4 at least i do if you guys have any kind of video for this example actually i will go ahead and include the video inside the description of this video inside the website, not inside YouTube, but inside the website I'm building. So you guys can take this video and use it as an example. So you guys can just go ahead and go to the description and get it. So after we included this, we need to write what kind of type of video it is because it doesn't know that it's an MP4 video, even though we just wrote it. So afterwards we need to write type equal to quotation marks. Then we need to write video backslash MP4. So after we make this, we can actually essentially see the video. So if I go ahead and go into my browser and refresh the browser, you'll notice that now our video player changed. It's not YouTube anymore. Now, a couple of downsides to this is that some functions like clicking on the video, it's not gonna play it. You do actually need to go down and hit the play button okay, down so here this episode, we're gonna to play it. You do still have this one, like this is the control thing we included inside the code so we do actually have it if you were to leave out the control we wouldn't actually be able to play the video so we do need to have it in here you can adjust the, the volume you can make it into a big screen or just minimize it again so now that we included the player we need to talk about the different formats of video you can use inside the html5 player so like i said the mp4 is going to be relevant 
because not all browsers support all kinds of video formats. Now, I do actually have a link here, which goes in and explains what kind of formats you can use inside the browser. And if you go down at the very bottom here, by the way, this is a, a website called w3schools.com, which is excellent for looking up this kind of stuff. Uh, but you can actually see here what kind of browser that supports MP4, WebM, and OGG, which is two kinds of formats you might not have heard about before. But you can actually see what kind of support they have. Right now, MP4 is supported by all browsers, according to this thing. But just for safety, you might want to include the one called OGG as well inside your website. So you might be you know, asking me, okay, so we need to include MP4, WebM, and OGG, but how do I actually create these formats? Because not all video editing software can actually export into OGG or WebM. So how do we do that? Well, I have a free video converter here for you guys, which is the best video converter I've ever met. And we're gonna go ahead and download it together and install it, so I make sure you guys install it correctly. And then we can take a look at the different formats you can export with this video converter. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. I'm gonna click the link, at least installa uh, installation link. We can choose English. And we're gonna go ahead and uncheck this one to help them you know, improve the software because I don't see a reason to. Next one. And then it's gonna ask you, is your PC running at full speed? And it's very important you don't just keep clicking next because every single free software you find on the internet is gonna to try to trick you into clicking accept to stuff you don't need. So we don't need this install tune up utilities software once to install with it. So we're just gonna say, I do not accept next. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna express or custom installation. We're gonna say custom because now we can also check off that we don't want to install safer paths. Again, it's trying to trick you. In the next one, we're gonna do a full installation or custom installation. And it's always better to choose custom. And then we're gonna go ahead and say, well, we, we could include a desktop icon. So we'll just say next. Then you're gonna go ahead and include the path you're gonna install it on. I'm just gonna install it into my D drive. So I'm gonna change a little bit. And then we can say next. And then it will actually install. So after this one is installed, we can actually open it up. It's actually opening up for me here. Just gonna go ahead and close some of this stuff down. Okay, so now it's done installing and I can actually launch my Freemake Video Converter. So if I launch it, you'll notice that we do actually get some different, well, we do get this pop-up that says, thank you for installing. So we're just gonna close that down. Uh, but in here, you can actually see that we can convert to video, audio, DVD, photo, and something called paste URL. So down here at the bottom, you can say, okay, so we want to create a HTML5 video, which is the one we wanna click. So if I click this one, it says we need to include some files. So if I were to include the video that we just included inside our root folder in here, it will actually convert to all these three formats I just talked about inside the, the website we just I just showed you guys. So doing it this way, you will then have all three formats. After you have them, you need to include all of them inside your root folder, inside the video folder. And inside the code, we need to include some extra tags inside our video tags, inside our index.html. So we're gonna go down to the next line. Just gonna copy paste it here. And then we're gonna change the, what do you call it? The extension to OGG. And the same thing over here by the type, we're gonna say OGG and save it. So now you would actually be able to, if this top video for some reason doesn't play inside one browser, it will say, okay, we're gonna go, with, uh, we're gonna continue to the next one, which is the OGG one. Now, if that one doesn't work either, what we can do down here at the bottom is we can leave a little message saying, your browser does not support HTML5 videos, exclamation mark. And then if they can't actually play any of these videos, then it's gonna tell you that, well, there's no support here. So this is essentially how we create a HTML5 video. And I hope this was useful for you guys. Now, of course, there's pros and cons to using both ways. The YouTube, for example, there's gonna be a lot of functionality on the video where you can click the video and it'll actually start. And there's a lot of good stuff about it. You can change the quality settings. If you do plan on changing the look of the video player control down here inside the HTML5 video, you do need to know JavaScript. And it's not, it's not difficult. 
but it's just not something we're going to include inside this video series because this is a HTML5 and CSS video series, so we're not going to include JavaScript. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.